First thing you want to do is get out to your grill and get that set up for today's cook. Now I'm going to show you what I like to do to set up my grill, but of course you're free to do whatever works for you. I'm just sharing what works for me. So this is going to act as kind of like a heat shield. We're going to put our short ribs on this side over the top of the uh, tin foil. And this is where we're going to have our charcoal going right over here. All right, we're going to use a mole inspired rub that we came up with. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to put that into a large shaker and we'll use that for the beef short ribs. Got a good chunk of some hickory wood. Pull the pieces right here. And yeah, now we're going to get our grate on here. Start putting this together so the grill can come up to temp. I've got a little thermometer here that I'm going to use to monitor our grill temps. In that probe, I'll connect to my Therm Pro remote thermometer and turn that on. Oh, real quick, I don't know if you noticed, if you've got a Therm Pro, check this out. I wrote grill for this probe and I've got another probe that I put here and that's for the meat. Now I got this idea from a channel called Baker Barbecue. Really enjoy his channel and I recommend you go check him out. He's my barbecue brother up in my home state of Pennsylvania. So Baker Barbecue, giving you a shout out right now. Love what you're doing. I'll put a link to his channel and to the video where I saw this um, down below in the description box and right up here as well. Check him out, Baker Barbecue. All right, I've got just about a pound of short ribs here. Hey guys, sorry for the rough cut there. I lost battery power on my camera right as I was ready to put that mole rub on the ribs and then get them on the grill. It's 4.30 now and they've been going for about four hours. And they've been cooking about 250, 270 degrees. Uh, right now, grill temp's at 245. So let's lift the lid, see how they're doing. These guys are looking great. Pulling back from the bone, and they are smelling awesome too, folks. Look at that. Okay, let's check this out. And let's check this one here too. Ooh, this one's feeling pretty tender. We're getting close. So what I'm doing today is I'm cooking these to tenderness, not necessarily temperature. And again, checking these over here as well. Now tenderness means when you put a probe in like this, it feels like it's going into soft butter. Not quite there yet with these. Okay, so my temperature on these is about averaging of 180 degrees. I'm thinking we've got another hour to go. My charcoal over here is looking good. So I think I'm just gonna leave this alone. Get the lid back on. Check back with you in another hour. All right, folks, it's been another hour, and because I'm cooking to tenderness and not temperature, um, I want to make sure that I'm checking uh, the tenderness of these uh, every hour or so. So let's open this up, see how they're doing. All right, so let's check them out. Ooh, that's feeling really soft. Pretty soft, too. Yep. These guys are really close. And they're temping at about 190 degrees. So I do want to give these a little bit more time, maybe another half hour or so, but they're really close. The tenderness is almost there. Remember, we're shooting for a soft butter. So let's get the lid back on and let them cook for a little bit longer. All right, it's been another half hour. Let's check them out. 
Okay, probe test. Oh yeah. That's it. Soft butter there. Let's try this one. Still a little bit of give, but other parts it's pretty soft. And let's check out our other two buddies here. Yep. That's it. I'm going to take these off. slice into one of these bad boys, see what it looks like. Got it pretty wonky, but look at that. Beautiful. Nice smoke ring. Okay. Try this little piece here. Not too bad. Let's give it a try. All right, let's try this out. Mmm. That's very good. The rub is kind of a sweet and savory, sweetness from some of the coffee and the chocolate in there. You should try it next time you're doing up a, um, a beef dish. Even brisket would be good on that too. So I'm losing light, so I think I've got to wrap it up. If you like this, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We couldn't do it without your support. It really means a lot to us. So great hanging out with you today. Smoke them if you got them. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.